Excellent work demolishing the fuel station. We're able to move around at our leisure now that the snipers are gone. The post office is a Soviet stronghold. It is used as a supply depot to support troops advancing into the city. Your brother is being held somewhere inside. Raise your flag on the roof to signal our victory. To get near the police station, you'll have to destroy a sniper's nest on the gas station. Follow me, Chris. I'll take you to the safe house. Isabella! You're back! Yes, and I owe it all to this man. Hey, you must be Chris. Come on in! This is only a temporary base. We're using it as a staging place for this mission. Let's plan our next move. Like it or not, you have a new profession now, Freedom Fighter. Nice work. Here we have an overview of the enemy compound. You can see them unloading equipment. They're using this post office as a temporary command center, and planning further advances into the city from here. It would really set them back if we recaptured this area. You won't be alone. Ever since you proved yourself by rescuing me, people are starting to believe in you. I'll let you lead two of my best men into action. Move out! Yeah, I'm in. Let's move! Yes, sir. Let's get after them. As long as they are recruited, these guys will follow you wherever you go. Just like bodyguards. Now go fight! Good luck. Remember, you are the leader. You can issue your men commands. Order them to attack that small patrol up ahead. Destroy that obstacle! Good. For liberty! Your men will fight every enemy in the direction you're pointing them. Take them out! Ow. This is an important vantage point. Gives you an overview of the battlefield, useful for strategic maneuvers. From here you can command your troops and cover them at the same time. Wipe them out! Hit their position! All of you! Great! You're a true leader. No, oh, sometimes it's important to know when to fall back. Remember to check the map once in a while. On the map, you can see the mission objectives. It's easy to get lost, so use the map to find your targets. They might make life easier for you.
Eliminate them! Right, Eliminate let's target! Take him down. Board. We'll Regroup. Roger, let's roll. See what's up, Rico. Got it. Help! Red's on the way. Help! Hey, bro. It's damn good to see you. I knew you'd come looking for me. This should help. Oh, I'm already better. Regroup! Moving out! Get back On the here. roof, bro. Don't forget the flag. Tatiana Kempinski at SAFN Studios in New York. In today's headlines, a downtown precinct was attacked by rebels earlier today. The attackers freed several rebel detainees. There are reports of many casualties. Several witnesses confirmed that the raid was carried out by a small group of armed rebels, headed by an individual who authorities believe to be the new leader of the resistance. Isabella Angeline, seen in these pictures, is an important member of the underground resistance movement, and the operation looked like a carefully planned and executed rescue attempt. The group was led by a shadowy figure as yet unidentified, but believed to be a male Caucasian in his early 30s. Earlier today, I interviewed our leader, General Tatarin, on the situation. This sort of action against the Soviet Liberation Army will not be tolerated. And such attacks only increase tension here. However, I assure you that this was an isolated event and we have restored peace and stability. That was General Tatarin earlier today. On the phone now from Governor's Island is Comrade Colonel Boba, head of KGB. Comrade Kempinski, these people are not rebels from proletariat. This freedom phantom is vigilante, a terrorist. But they are few and will be executed when caught. After a trial, of course. And on this reassuring note, let's look at the forecast. What's in store for us on weather front tomorrow, comrade Ilyana? <laughs> 